hello everyone uh, let me know if i am clearly audible and visible if there anyone is watching me kindly let me know i am if i am uh, visible clearly and audible hello shonila di i hope i am clearly audible and visible right okay shonila di thank you so much hello everyone good evening i am sarita home chef from kolkata welcome to my live everyone uh, firstly i want to thank amul for giving me this great opportunity and then i would like to thank mrs shalini mishra bachpai admin of food ocean food group for arranging such a great contest in collaboration with amul and of course special thanks to chef murli gupta sir for choosing me as a winner so hello everyone hello 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 thank you so much for joining me so today i'm going to share with you a very easy and uh, delicate recipe using paneer the name of the recipe uh, i'll tell you hello everyone hi hello whoever is watching welcome to my live and good evening to everyone hello everyone so without any further delay let's uh, talk about the recipe uh, today i'm going to share with you uh, the recipe which is uh, pepper paneer this is a sweet tangy and yet spicy at the same time recipe uh, you can serve it as a starter or as a side dish so without uh, any further delay let me show you the ingredients okay just a sec let me move the camera okay so i hope you can clearly see the ingredients here the main ingredients is paneer the recipe is paper paneer so uh, i have some yellow bell pepper here then some capsicum some red bell peppers cashew nuts this is chopped coriander leaves red chilies salt this is a chinese spice mix here are some sesame seeds some crushed black peppers honey sesame sauce so these are the ingredients for the recipe let's move to the recipe I hope you can clearly see. If not, then please let me know. So I have some paneer over here, and I have taken two hundred grams of paneer. Firstly, I will marinate the paneer pieces. For that. I'll add little bit of salt. And this Chinese spice mix.
Now I'm adding a little bit of mustard oil. And brush the mixture evenly to all the pani pieces. As you can see, done for this part. Now I'll flip the pani pieces and we'll do same for the other part as well. I hope the picture is clearly visible. You can see everything clearly. And we'll do the same thing for this part as well. We'll add this powder. And again brush to eventually marinate the paneer. The basically the paneers are uh, tasteless so I am adding a little bit of taste to the paneers. And it's done. Now I'm moving the camera towards the gas oven where I'm going to fry the paneer pieces. So firstly, I'll turn on the gas. I have taken a grill pan to fry the paneer pieces. You can also use a tawa. I am using a grill pan to give a nice texture to the paneer pieces. I am adding a little bit of butter to the pan. Let it melt. Brush the butter all over the pan. Now my pan is ready. I'll add the pony pieces one by one. Just like this. We'll fry them until a 
light uh, golden color has come we'll fry it till then using a grill pan will uh, give a nice texture to the pani pieces you can also use a tawa but try to avoid any karhai in this step tawa or grill pan will give a smoky flavor to the pani pieces those who have joined later hello everyone and good evening we we'll flip the pani pieces to see if it is done or not it's not totally done We'll flip them one by one. Shabanti Boni di, thank you so much. I'll flip the pony pieces now. Look at the texture. This is the section that I was talking about. Nice and golden brown. This is what we need. I'll flip them and fry the other side as well. Just look at the color. Ashok Varma, no, this is paneer and I'm preparing today pepper paneer. Now I'm just grilling the paneer. It's almost done now. Thank you so much, Tamali Di. Uh, it's the panis are done now. I will keep it aside. And taking a fresh pan. In 
this fresh pan, I'm again adding some butter. You can also use olive oil or white oil. Let it melt. Okay. So now I'm adding some cashew nuts. This cashew nuts will add a crunchiness in this recipe. I'll fry them for a while. I'm also adding some red chilies. We'll fry them for a while. Definitely Shrabunti Di. Thank you more actually. Now I'm adding the bell peppers one by one. First the yellow one. Then the green one. Last but not least the red one. We'll saute everything for a while. How colorful it's looking. Thank you so much, Shuparna Di. This recipe is a little bit of tangy, little bit of spicy and uh, sweet and you can adjust the flavors according to your taste like how much uh, spicy or tangy you want you can adjust them according to your preference I need the bell peppers a little bit of soft and but not smashy I want the crunch in the recipe so I won't cook them much. Thank you Shrabunti Di. Yeah, this is uh, really a colorful dish. Very good to see and good to taste as well. These bell peppers are a little bit of softened. Now I'll add some more bell peppers. And I won't soften them. That would be the crunch. I'm 
I'm adding some more bell peppers and I won't soften them. This will add some extra crunch. So I have softened most of the bell peppers. Some of them are very crunchy. I have added salt. salt it in for a little bit now I'm adding crushed black peppers this will add a elegant flavor freshly crushed black peppers I'll add it This will add uh, a different flavor or aroma to this dish. Shivdash Nath, thank you so much, Dad. Whoever joined my live session later, good evening, everyone. Welcome to my live. Today I'm making pepper paneer. I have grilled the paneers and now I'm sorting the bell peppers. Okay, they are almost done. Now I'm adding half a teaspoon of Chinese spice mix. little bit of season seeds mix them again We'll salt it in for a while. The peppers are almost done, but yet to be fully done. I have used amul butter, but you can also use olive oil or white oil. Now, I'll add some sedum sauce. This will add the tanginess of the dish.
Now I'm adding some honey to add to the stankiness of cinnamon sauce. You can also use sugar, but uh, I'm preferring honey over sugar. This will add to the spiciness and the tanginess. We'll mix everything again. I have not added too much of salt because uh, Sejuan sauce it's, is salty. It's a salty sauce. So kindly adjust the salt. I don't add water in this recipe. Now, I'm adding the pony pieces. One by one. Again, mix everything. The recipe. The recipe is almost done. Just mixing all the things together. Thank you Shrabonti Di, Shuparna Di, thank you so much for being here and, and constantly supporting me. Now I am adding some chopped coriander leaf. Mix everything. The aroma of fresh coriander. Aha. This will add extra joyfulness to your recipe. And it's done. See? What a simple recipe, yet delicious. And easy to make. It's done now. I'm switching off my flame. And now I'll serve it.
hot and tempting. Pepper paneer is ready. Now I'll serve it. I'm moving the camera. Let me know how far you like the recipe. Now I'll solve it. have this recipe as a starter and uh, as a side dish as well you can complement this with uh, any chapati roti paratha naan or with any rice like jeera rice something that you love to have look how colorful it's looking and tempting as well little bit of garnishing is yet to be done I'll sprinkle some sesame seeds from top to look nice. It's tempting, isn't it? Let me know how far you like the recipe. Thank you, Shoni Ladi. Thanks to everyone. Firstly, I'll add some chopped coriander leaves. And it's done. You can see the recipe. Look how tempting and delicious it's looking. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Once again, thanks to Amul for arranging such a great live session and giving me this great opportunity. And thanks to everyone. Thank you so much, Shrabuntidi. Thank you so much everyone. I hope you like the recipe. So this is our today's recipe. Pepper paneer. I hope you liked it. And will definitely try at home. Thank you so much everyone for supporting me. And for watching the live session today. Thank you so, so much to uh, Pudarshan Food Group once again. 
मिसेस शालिनी मिश्र वाजपेयी थैंक्स टू यू एडमिन ऑफ फोडोशन फूड ग्रुप थैंक्स टू अमूल फॉर अरेंजिंग सच अ ग्रेट लाइफ सेशन एंड गिविंग मी दिस ऑपर्चुनिटी सो फॉर टुडे बाय एवरीवन हैव अ गुड डे